Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Deb's RFC Live. It's Sunday, January 7th, 2024. I cannot believe it is 2024. Do you see Tucker in the background? He got up on the couch and joined me for this video, which is very unusual. Um, I'm off to the side because I want you to be able to see him. I've got a ton of stuff to share with you, and so this might be a long video. And I will tell you the format so that if you're not interested in the first part, then you can just skip to the second part. Um, the first part will be mostly art, new art supplies, new projects I'm working on, um, painting, that kind of thing. The second part will be crochet and knitting. And they'll kind of segue into each other because one of my knitting projects is for my art project as well. So anyway, I'm just hanging out today, this afternoon. I went to church this morning, but I've got on this sweatshirt and I don't know what's on it. I don't know if it's like splatters from the chicken I fixed at lunch or if it's coffee I've spilled, but I'm sorry. Um, maybe the cute little dog in the background will help make up for my appearance. Anyway, I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and, a, and that you're off to a good start for 2024. Um, I'm just going to dive right in with the art stuff first. I'm going to turn this camera just a little bit. I know you can't see Tucker's wheel, but I feel lopsided. Um, I don't know if you guys do this, but, um, oh, by the way, I'm enjoying this wonderful cup of coffee on this cold Sunday afternoon. This is from some local coffee roasters, um, Ignite Life Coffee, and they do have a website if you want to Google them or I'll try to link them below. But they are in Hillsville, Virginia, and they are, um, this is called Winter Wonderland. It's a blend that they do in the winter, and it is delicious. It is so delicious. I don't like flavored coffees at all, but this one is so, you know how flavored coffees give you that aftertaste, or at least they do me. Well, this one does not do that. So, sorry for the hair, too. I think I'm just, oh. Uh, Just not hitting on much today. Um, I have been working on so many things. This whole um, first week of the year has been pure creativity and I've loved every minute of it. So um, I don't, what I started to say a minute ago, I don't know if you guys do this, but at Christmas time, they have all these sales and I end up shopping like a mad woman. And a lot of it is for me in addition to my family. So um, I spent a lot on myself this year. Um, the first thing, and I forgot to bring it in here. Give me just one second, please. I'm back. And now, of course, when I got up, Tucker got down from the couch, so he won't be in the video now, probably. But I ordered from Amazon these... Um, pencils that I've been hearing a lot about, mainly the um, prominent red. Um, Sandy Hester had talked about that. It's not showing up great. There we go. But they are crate cr color. I don't know how you say that, but you see. And they are, the light is mega color. And they're made in Austria. So, create a color, mega color. Well, it's just not going to focus. But anyway, I ordered the whole set, all the colors, which you don't really need, but I just love them. I love them. They were on sale. They were like, this whole set was like 30, 30 or $40. But they make the most interesting marks. And I've really just been using them for mark making on my little abstract watercolors. Um, this is that crate of color. Well, all this colored pencil, just about all of it is those. And I just had the best time just making little dashes and dots and scribbles. And I did some on the inside, these and these. This is all watercolor, um, but then I added the little dots and dashes 
And you can see I was able to match the colors. I just had a ball. Well, I've been doing tons of these. Sorry about that. A book just fell. Imagine that. I've got the whole couch full of stuff. And I know that I could film in my studio, but I just feel so comfortable on the couch talking to you. I just, it's a lot of trouble to set up the camera to do the, you know, to show my hands. And I wish I haven't done it, but I made stacks and stacks and stacks of these. I don't know if you remember. Um, well, I thought I had even more than that. But anyway. Oh, here's the big one. So, yeah, stacks of these. And beautiful. Those are just the folded. I don't know if you remember me showing you the um, five by seven um, handmade rough paper watercolors that I was doing. And I didn't know what I was going to do with them, but I decided to do the front and the back. And this is just watercolor, just me playing. No, not even an end result was in mind. I was just playing. And see, the rough paper gives it all these uh, little valleys. Um, didn't do the inside on that one. But I've tried to do the inside on, well, I haven't done the inside on all of them. But what I realized was these would make great little journal covers. Look at that. I just think that's so pretty. And so I can do, you know, the little mark making things like I did. And I can just work on them a little at a time. Can't decide if the light's a good thing or a bad thing because it wants to white everything out. Let me see if I can adjust it. Bear with me just one second. Maybe I can make it. There we go. Let's try a little bit dimmer. So here's what the stack looks like. There are some that are, I mean, they're just beautiful. I just love sitting and looking through them. This one looks like a tie-dye. A lot of them do. But what I discovered was I can knit little pockets or journal covers for them. I first thought of pockets and like a little satchel with a handle to carry them, like maybe attach them to your purse or something. And then, of course, I will sew pages in here um, with the pamphlet stitch. And you could, you know, use it as a little journal or it just might be uh, watercolor paper that I put in. But anyway, I needed this cover out of some new yarn that I purchased from um, Joanne. I started to say AC Moore. There is no AC Moore anymore. Um, so that's one thing I've been working on. And I've just been having a ball and getting so excited thinking about the opportunities. You know, you could actually... Uh, embroider, you could add flowers, you could like crocheted flowers, you could do all kinds of things. And this one doesn't fit perfectly. And it's the first one I did. So anyway, that's the idea. So I've done all that. And I'm really enjoying those colored pencils. Um, and then for Christmas, um, I asked my daughter for something I really, really wanted. I wanted it for my birthday. But it never worked out and I didn't get any. So I asked my daughter to get me these Graphitent XL blocks. These things are amazing. They're brand new from Derwent. And that's what they look like. And you can wet them and use them straight out of here like watercolor. You can uh, take them out, draw with them. They're just these big blocks of Graphitent. And it's basically kind of like colored graphite in a way. It's just a really neat um, way to make some marks. You can see it's just beautiful. But And then this one is also new, Inktense XL Blocks. Now these are the Inktense. Um, they have Inktense pencils and these are Inktense Blocks. And they... Um, turn when they dry they become ink and so they don't lift off like watercolor does and so um if i can get into these look at that 
and they're messy right now because I got white on some of the colors when I was doing a project which I'll show you in a minute but there's 12 of them and so there you have it the ink tents XL blocks and I highly recommend these these are great on fabric if you like to paint on fabric um, these are wonderful because you they're permanent because they turn into ink oh the graph tent these do not turn into ink they're not um, they will still lift but these are the ink tents and they do turn into ink so what i did with these recently i am involved in several online classes one of which goes all year and that is um joanne sharp's um whimsies words and watercolors or whimsies watercolors and words something like that but it's a year-long class and there are zoom meetings uh, once a month on the second saturday and i absolutely love doing this class and this one it, she used to do um, a class called artfully inspired life and i took part in that last year but this year she changed it up um, she ended the artfully inspired life and started a new format and new uh, class altogether and it's it's fabulous one of the first well this is the sketchbook that we're using it is a uh, alpha series of the um, Stillman and Burns Stillman and Burn alpha series sketchbook and it's a mixed media um, 8 by 10 I think it's 46 sheets of acid-free paper. Well, the first one of the first assignments was to design your cover, and she suggested quilting, um, and she used uh, fabric that had art supplies printed on it. Well, I didn't want to spend any more money because I went a little crazy at Christmas buying stuff, so instead of buying more fabric, I took these stamps that I had purchased from Erite, I don't know how to say her last name, L-A-N-D-G-R-A-F. She's a watercolor artist and a crocheter um, who has a YouTube channel, and I will link her. But she had made these stamps, and they're art supplies. They're beautiful. Paint brushes, pens, pencils. They're just neat stamps. Whoa! So what I did was I took a... Well, first I took a piece of uh, three pieces of wool felt and sewed them together to make the length of this book and then I cut my muslin fabric and put it over you know and used the felt as a backing like a quilt batting kind of thing and I, I am not a sewer I am not a seamstress I'm not a quilter at all no skills whatsoever but I do love to play and I love to embroider you know to an extent it really makes my hand hurt and I find it kind of tedious so I don't like to do it a lot but I have loved making this well anyway after I stamped it and put it all together I um, used these ink tense blocks to paint it. So I used them like watercolor and just wet them with my watercolor brush and water and worked into them and painted this cover. And I had a, a palette of some other ink tints colors, um, just a little small pans of it that I used in addition to these because I couldn't get all the colors. But what do you think? Well, then I laid it down. It was pretty wet because you see I've really washed uh, and wet this background because um, it was just unbleached muslin so I've added I mean you can't even tell it was ever unbleached muslin and so um, here's the name of the course whimsy's words and watercolors okay and I highly recommend her course and right now it's still on sale 
It will go up to $129, but right now it's $69.95 for the full year, and you can't beat that price because you get a whole community to interact with, and you get all these wonderful lessons. So um, after I painted it and put it in the dryer for a while, just to make sure it was good and dry, I started stitching it. And, um, you know, as I said, I kind of find that tedious, and I just, I didn't want to do that today, so I finished it off very crudely with whip stitches to make the, um, and it's a little bit, almost too small for the, but it's, it actually fits perfectly. So anyway, I am so pleased with this. And um, we just are gonna be doing assignments in this. I, I'm gonna try not to think of them as assignments or I won't wanna do them, but she will give us lessons each month to fill this sketchbook. So, that's that. Um, so those are the the main things I've been working on. I, I'm also taking Lisa Burke's um, class, Sketchbook Petite, and it's a 30-day class on um, sketching, and I'm really excited about that. She she's the Petite is she's sketching small. So it's doing small sketches, and she's got, there'll be like 30 days of lessons. So I haven't gotten into that quite yet, but I'm working on it. My coffee's getting cold. Now, that's the art supplies portion of the video. Now, on to the yarn. I couldn't help myself. And this does not show up. Let me try to adjust the light again. Well. None of them really do it justice, I tell you. But... This is gorgeous, and I wish you could see it like it really looks. That's pretty good. Ooh, that's got it. It is so bright. It is so bright. It's beautiful. Beautiful yarn. This is my favorite Big Twist Party. I can just about turned down any yarn except this, and I'm just crazy about it. So I purchased more. I got this in the mail and fell in love with it, this color. It's still not showing up as bright as it really is, but trust me when I say it is the most gorgeous hot pink, hot violet color. And so I ordered more of that, and I ordered more of this beautiful bright blue. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I just love it. And then, after I did that, they came out with even more new colors. So, this morning, I went online to Joanne, and it's on sale for, like, if you get the 25% off coupon that they send you. Like, if you wait for a few minutes when you're ordering from, from Joanne, like, if you put all the stuff in your cart and you give it a while, they'll send you a 25% off coupon. So, with that and the sale... Um, those skeins were $2.99 each, so I jumped on it. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the other thing I'm doing, yarn related, is I started out, I was going to do a cover for that book. I was going to knit the cover. You know, I had the idea, oh, I'm going to knit the cover. So it's almost finished, and so I'll have two different covers. So if I need to wash or whatever, I can switch them out, but this is the Serenity Chunky Candy Yarn from Premier, and I absolutely love it. So you can see I don't have but about four inches to go. Uh, this is the Colorway Primary. Ooh, I love it. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it is just beautiful. I'm still working on this light because I don't think it's the right... That looks a little more realistic. But it's beautiful, beautiful, 
beautiful yarn and I love knitting with it. And I'm thinking I might need a sweater like that. Can you imagine? I mean, what a happy sweater that would be. So that's the other thing I'm working on. Um, also, on Friday of... Friday a week ago, not this past Friday, but the Friday between Christmas and New Year's, I finished this uh, basket slash bag all in one day. And I love it because the bottom... I, I got just the right amount of yarn and the right hook to make the bottom nice and flat. Um, I don't know if you can tell that, but it really sits up well as a basket. But I did add, add a handle, and I love this thing. And I've started another one with the same yarn combination, but a different color way. This is, uh, I love this ch yarn chunky from Hobby Lobby. This is the colorway Herb Garden, and I think this is something about spring. It's beautiful. And then I use the anti-peeling Soft and Sleek from Hobby Lobby. Uh, soft and Sleek Low Peel Fiber Yarn Bee is what this is. So I'm um, making another one of those. I just love that basket and I want to make I love the the whole shape of it you know it's not it's a perfect project size and it's not too high and it's not too big around it's just it's perfect it holds quite a bit of yarn it holds a project very nicely it would probably hold two or three projects if you were only using one skein of yarn for it um so I did that I am carrying on with this sweater, although I just, I don't know, I just kind of get bored with it and put it away. That's why I have to have so many projects going. But as you can see, this is the back. And then I've started on the front panel on that side. So, you know, it'll, it'll be a cardigan. And I left space for my neck, hopefully enough space. I don't know. But anyway, the stitch markers are my neck. And then the other front panel will start on this side. And then I'll join the two sides together and start the sleeves. So anyway, that's got a ways to go, and I really need to work on it. I think it's red, and after Christmas was over, I just kind of didn't want to use red yarn anymore. I don't know. Okay, so I'm using this um, with it, the autumn evening. It's not quite as bright as the uh, color that I showed you earlier. It's called Raspberry Jam, and it's just much more vibrant. Um, so I'm working on that. Oh, this yarn is the Big Twist Carousel. It's new yarn. And it's what I made the little journal cover from. And I like it, but it's a little bit scratchy. It's it's a hundred percent acrylic. I don't know why it's it says a hundred percent premium acrylic, but it feels like wool. So ah it doesn't feel exactly like wool, but it is a little scratchy. So I don't know. But I think it'll be great for making those little journal covers. Um, I'm also getting close to finishing the Autumn Sunrise Sweater by Cinnamon Stitches. I've done my sleeves and done the decreases. You see how it gets smaller as it goes. And I just need to finish off the sleeves, decide how long I want them to be. This is the back, actually. There's the front. I want it to be like a few inches longer, so I'm, I've got to add to the bottom of it and then do my ribbing like the top. But I'm coming along on that slowly but surely. I just work on it as I want to. Like I said, that's why I have a billion projects going because I 
I'm just in different moods and like to have different options. Still going on this sweater, and I love this yarn. I'm thinking, though, that this might be a little too narrow for the back of a sweater. I'm almost tempted to continue this and make it like a blanket shawl or a, a blanket scarf shawl type thing. It's just so soothing to work on and I just think it's gorgeous. This fabric, oh, I mean this yarn. This is the party yarn that I'm so addicted to. I love it, you guys. I love how it works up. I just love it. I love it. So, I've got plenty left to make a good size whatever. But I may, I don't know, I may not do a sweater with that and just do a blanket, a blanket shawl. Although, I, I make those things and then I don't wear them. Um, what else do I have? I talked to you in the last video about putting the green, the dark green from Hershner's into this blanket. And look, you guys. Remember, I had this long strip and I was concerned because it was so pastel and not enough contrast. Look what that green did. Is that not amazing? That little bit of contrast made all the difference. I wish that it could be in this strip, but, you know, at least it'll be on each side. I just think that looks so good. I'm still not crazy about the colors, but at least now I feel like I can finish it and do something with it. Here's the latest square. I do I do like these colors. They're just not they just don't these colors make me happy. These colors make my heart sing. They just make me come alive. These colors are just N not exciting, you know? I mean, they're pretty, and I know they're some people's cup of tea, but they're just not mine. But at least the contrast will help me to keep working on this and just add a square. I'm not in any hurry, so I'm only going to work on it when I am in the mood to do a granny square. Well, I thought this video would be really long, but it's only 24 minutes. Oh, I have one more thing to show you. And this is again back to the painting. Another thing that I treated myself to after watching the Poetry of Color. She has a channel. And um, I got these. I don't know if you can. They're little pans of paint. Can you see that? It, these are little pans too, and they're a mess. But but these are are from Beam Paints, based in Canada, and they're gouache, but they're professional watercolors. I don't know. Anyway, they're these little pans of gouache, and they were like on sale for seven dollars each, which is still a little much because there's not much in here at all. This is like caved in, so there's there's very little real paint, but gosh, the colors. What drew me to them was the robin's egg blue. That is, you can see that even from here. That is the most gorgeous color. I'm just crazy about it. So I bought those. Um, and I used that color right in here. I don't know if you can see it. And there's some watercolor underneath, but that is just such a beautiful color. I'm really I'm just crazy about this book. I'm really proud of it, even though, you know, I'm not a quilter. I just think this book turned out great. 
And the class is, is using mostly watercolor, so it's very appropriate for all this to be watercolor supplies. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, thanks for being here this long. Um, thanks for giving me a try. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful um, second week in January. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you to everybody that subscribes. And I've lost my mouse. Sorry. Everybody that subscribes and um, likes and comments and does all those things. Let me know what, oh, one thing, what is your word of the year? Um, let me know that in the comments. If you've watched this long, um, thank you. And let me know what your word of the year is if you're doing that. Mine is savor, to delight in, to relish, to enjoy. Um, and that's what I want to do in 2024. I'm expecting my second grandchild um, and my first grandchild is two. And I just want to savor every minute and every experience, every art experience, every knitting and crochet adventure, every moment I want to savor and enjoy. So here's to 2024. Thanks, you guys. See you soon.